Hi, I'm Mitchell, and I'm one of the product managers here at Pluggable. Today, we're excited to talk about Apple's latest addition to their Mac lineup, the 15-inch MacBook Air with the M2 chip. This is Apple's first Air system that has a 15-inch screen. Previously, MacBook Air shipped with 11 or 13-inch displays, but Apple has finally bumped that size up for all those looking for a bit more screen real estate. With the bigger size comes snatcher speakers, a larger trackpad, and a bigger battery, although both models still have an 18-hour battery life, likely due to the bigger screen. With that said, both the last year's 13-inch and the new 15-inch Air models are still similar internally, with the M2 chip, the fan that's designed, MagSafe charging, and two Thunderbolt ports. And speaking of those Thunderbolt ports, just like the other Macs with the base M2 chip, these are still limited to a single native external display only. So how can you get back a dual or triple monitor setup? The solution is to use docks or adapters that include a popular USB graphics technology called DisplayLink. DisplayLink solutions use an installable driver in conjunction with their custom graphics controller chip to enable additional monitors beyond what your system would otherwise natively support. Today, we'll be focusing on two products for adding additional screens to your new 15-inch Air, and if you're looking for more options, be sure to check out the description below this video for a link to many more devices that we've compatibility tested with the new Mac. Here we have our UD Old CDL triple display docking station. By using the native video output provided by your Mac combined with DisplayLink technology, this dock supports the three HDMI monitors. It also supports up to 100 watts of USB-C power delivery for laptop charging, and a front USB-C port with 20 watts of PD for a phone or tablet. In addition to a full array of USB 3.0 ports, gigabit ethernet, and audio jacks, it also features a front-facing SD card slot, which is a great complement as the MacBook Air line doesn't include a card reader, unlike the Pro models. And if you're looking for an even more feature-packed alternative that also includes DisplayPort connectivity and triple 4K support, check out the UD Old C4K. Next, we'll talk about our USB-C 6950 PDZ mini dock, which is a compact and cost-effective way of adding two external displays plus additional connectivity. This device provides two 4K-capable HDMI ports, USB-C and USB-A 10 gig data ports, gigabit ethernet, and an SD card slot. For maximum portability, this device is capable of operating bus-powered, or with the power provided by just the Mac's Thunderbolt port. But it's also capable of charging your Mac, so if you connect a USB-C charger from your MacBook or another USB-C device to the dedicated USB-C power input port, and the device will automatically negotiate with your Mac to safely provide the best available charging rate for your system. Lastly, for those simply looking for an accessory to get back basic connectivity, consider our AMS 501E, a USB-C hub that connects cleanly to the side of your Mac, providing a fully capable USB 4 port, two USB-A 10 gig ports, ethernet, audio, and also allowing you to still charge your Mac using MagSafe. Hopefully this video helps you understand how to take full advantage of your 15-inch MacBook Air. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.